Okay, FAQ 97. What about Ezekiel chapter 21, verses 3 through 4, and God's wrath? Okay, when I did my study on the false god of post-trib rapture Christians, I said about one of the points is that God will never judge a righteous man. Okay, God's wrath never falls upon the righteous. All right, let's read here the text. Ezekiel 21, verse 3 through 4. It says here, And say to the land of Israel, Thus saith the Lord, Behold, I am against thee, and will draw forth my sword out of his sheath, and will cut off from thee the righteous and the wicked. Seeing then that I will cut off from thee the righteous and the wicked, therefore shall my sword go forth out of his sheath against all flesh from the south to the north. And they said, I understand what you're saying with your sermon, but right there it says, God's sword, his, his judgment comes upon the righteous and the wicked. Well, it's not talking about individual judgment. It's talking about national judgment. Okay, Right now, there has been a lot of judgments that have hit America. And there's righteous people that are being involved in this thing. These fires and stuff that are spreading all over the West Coast and the floods and the tornadoes and whatever else, I'm sure that there's been saved people that have been going through that. But you see, I'll guarantee you, when the saved person goes through that judgment that comes upon a nation... God will still protect that person through that situation. Okay, A good example would be Noah. God's wrath came upon the whole world, but he saved Noah through that. All right, And there will be righteous people in the time of Jacob's trouble. That doesn't mean that the body of Christ goes through that time because of other plenty of other doctrinal issues that you have there. We're sealed, tribulation saints are not. So, you know, and I've talked about that in any, plenty of other studies. But this is talking about a national judgment. It is not talking about an individual judgment. And again, in the midst of a national judgment, God can still spare the righteous. He's just simply saying, hey, this whole nation is so corrupt, I'm going to have to judge the nation. All right? It's like a nation that goes against Israel, the nation of Israel. God will judge that nation. And there will be righteous people that will be under that national judgment. But in that national judgment, God will still protect them. Okay? So that's my answer to that question.